what is the one thing that we like about working with AWS? I think it's the fact that regardless of the opportunity, big or small, global or local, we can find just the right combination of tools to deploy services in such a way that they work and they scale. And that's what any software business wants to do. My name's Stuart Grant. I'm a co-founder of a company called Geomi. Geomi was started in 2008 by myself and my, my good buddy, Jim Strong. We're a software company and we specialize in dealing with location data. So we work with large enterprises to gather their location data and extract it from internal systems and put it onto a nice flexible web services platform and then put that data to good use. We're serving millions of requests per day to users all around the world. That approach doesn't really work. So we have a much more sophisticated approach to deploying AWS. Think of a, a typical deployment stack for us now for a large scale service. At the edge, it would use Route 53 to do clever DNS routing so that a user is directed to servers closest to them geographically. Uh, again, at the edge, we use uh, Amazon's CloudFront. Uh, so any content or any data that can be that is cacheable is served from the edge, close to where the users are, without having to find its way all the way back to our application stack. ELB helps us to monitor usage. It helps us to handle failover. Helps us to scale automatically. Moving further into the application layer, of course, we use uh, EC2, Elastic Cloud Compute. We use uh, Elastic Cache. So we take advantage of you know, high-speed in-memory caching. We use S3 for large-scale, almost infinite-scale storage of static assets. And at the bottom of the stack, we have good old RDS, so the database servers, where we use Nginx variants and highly optimized, and of course, multi-zone, which provides a, a amazing resilience and, and failover capability. AWS is such a fundamental part of our business, so you know all of our services run on some aspect of AWS. So what it really means is anyone with a technical brief within the business uh, has it as said as their business to know AWS inside out uh, and how it evolves. And that includes the founders. Well, the main benefit is that AWS allows you to automate just about every aspect of your infrastructure. And that's really important. So if you think that you can have infrastructure at almost infinite scale, it's monitored, it's, you know, it, it fails over, it scales automatically then you know, that's one big overhead in terms of time as much as anything else that is taken out of the business. In terms of cost savings and efficiencies, uh, the one great thing about AWS is that, well, the price is always good, but actually more than that, the, there were so many deployment options that you have. For any, any service that we're asked to run, big or small, global or local, we can deploy just the right combination of resources, the right combination of infrastructure, to run it such that it's resilient, but also such that it doesn't waste. We're not running servers that we don't need to be running at times when we don't need to be running them. And that's efficient cost-wise, and I guess it's also efficient uh, environmentally as well. We use AWS, and so in doing so, we get to leverage the expertise, the infrastructure, the global reach, the security of a service like AWS. That immediately gives us credibility as a small business to do services and to operate things for, for very large organizations. We've been using Amazon Web Services since 2008. As it continues to evolve, we get more options to deploy things. We can do things more efficiently. We can service larger markets. So for us, it's very much about AWS being a, 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 the perfect investment for a small business to make.